Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here and welcome to the Women Who Collab. And today my partner is Leslie, my number one fan. And she chose this Ace Butte Flare palette for me. And the shades that are in the palette that she selected are this mustardy yellow, this pretty blue shimmer, this bluish green teal, and then these two greens right here. So I'm gonna try to create a bluish green look with this palette. I just think it's so pretty. I love it so much. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna put this mustardy yellow in the crease. So I'm using a fluffy brush from Ace Butte. And we're just gonna pop that in the crease, kinda high up in the crease. And uh, I'm just going to use it as a, like a base color. And I'm going to take it all the way up into the brow bone area. Just a light wash of color, just something really nice and warm for all these blues and greens to blend into. And I love this palette and I've been meaning to use it all during the fall season and I just now got the chance to do it so I've just been using a lot of other palettes that have you know pretty fall colors in them and a lot of oranges a lot of browns I've been doing some maroon looks things like that plum looks but as far as like focusing on a on a teal green or yellowish greens I really haven't had the chance to do that so all right so we have that in the crease now what I want to do is let me let me go in with this moss color this beautiful mossy green mossy and we're just gonna pop that with on top of this mustard a little bit but lower in the crease and it's gonna look like an olive not a whole lot just a just a light light dusting of moss I really want I really want to focus I want to take these greens and yellowish greens and I want to uh, add some blue to them and kind of transform them a little bit you know where the teal is like the star of the show that's pretty I like that Okay, we'll come back. We'll finish the other eye in just a second. Let me just continue on with this one. And so now, let me let me find a flat brush here. And I'm going to put this uh, color Sherbert, right here, that yellowish green, on the lid. And I already have on mascara and lipstick and some other complexion products so like a lot of my makeup's already done that goes good with the moss and I'm just gonna blend that in right there at the corner the inner corner Okay, now this would look really good with browns, this color combination I've got going on, but I'm going to I'm going to swing it over to the blue side. So, let me I'm going to find another brush here. Let me go in with this teal now. It's called it's actually called Forest Pine, but I love it. I love this shade. It is very pigmented. So, I'm going to use a lighter it's a really fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics and I'm gonna go really low in the crease and I'm gonna 
focus this on the outer V area and the bottom part of this mobile lid. And we're just going to blend all that in together. And I just love how this teal just transforms everything. And it just really adds that depth. Okay, now I need a smaller brush. Let me with this fine tip here, and I'm going to stay right there within that teal forest pine color, and I'm going to go underneath the lash line. And this hopefully will make my blue eyes pop. Okay, so I'm taking it from the outer lash to the inner lash down here on the lash line. And I'm stopping just short of the tear duct area. And we're going to blend this in to the corner, out this outer corner where this outer V is. Okay, just like that. Now, the challenge is for this Bayberry. It's this blue shimmer, and it is going to be the star along with that teal shade. So I'm going to just load up my brush and we're going to pop this on the lid on top of that pretty yellowish green. And in that inner corner. And I'm not really looking for opaque, but I do want that color to kind of shine through it, that yellowish green. It's called Sherbert, that yellowish, that greenish yellow shade that I laid on the lid. And these shimmers will transfer, because I have hooded eyes, they will transfer to that forest pine shade, that teal. Okay, and now just a little bit right here around the tear duct area. And let it have its moment. Let it have its moment in the sun. Okay. Alright, so that is the eye look, you guys. I am going to go off camera. I'm going to do the other eye and pop on a pair of lashes, maybe add a little bit darker eyebrows, and we'll come back and we're gonna add some highlighter and, and maybe a lip gloss or a lip liner or something to kind of enhance this lip look a little bit. Be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back and this is the finished eye look. I think this eyelash is not quite dry. Try to get that to stay in place anyway so while that dries i want to go in with some pink blush because i don't have any blush on today 
and so we're just going to grab a blush brush here and I'm going to use this one from Complex Culture and I'm just going to play up on the pink lipstick that I have going on by applying some pink blush and maybe I can find a pink highlighter and and a little bit of lip gloss to add to this lip. I'm just kind of enhance this look a little bit. So I did use um, a pair of Ardell Demi Wispies for my lashes and I did um, put a eyeliner called Midnight Blue. It's the Nubian eyeliner from Juvia's Place in Midnight Blue in my waterline and my tight line. I really like these eyeliners y'all. They're beautiful. Lots of good stay-in powder power in them. All right, now I'm going to go in with a pink highlighter. I'm going to use this one here from Too Faced. It's called the Fancy Pink Diamond. This is what it looks like in the package. It's really pretty. And you'd think it would be like a really blinding highlighter, but it's it's baked, and so it's it's subtle. I mean, you can build it up. But look at that. It just strobes on. So beautiful. Look at that. So pretty. And it looks good with pink blush and pink lipstick. Strobe a little bit more. And then maybe a little for my nose. And maybe a little for the Cupid's bow. And then maybe a little for right above the brow. Since I didn't do, um, I didn't do any kind of a highlighter underneath the brow bone, you know, at the top of the eye look today. I didn't want to carry that blue up there. And I just felt like the blue screen eye was having a moment all to itself. So I didn't want to disturb it. Okay, now for the lips. I want to go in with this Ace Butte Palatopoly lip gloss. There were In the collection, there were three liquid lipsticks and then there was this lip gloss. And this lip gloss right here is so pretty. It goes with pinks, it goes with reds, it goes with plums. It just goes with everything. And I just feel like this lip look needs a little shine. I did not use a lip liner today. Okay. Hopefully that will stay on for a while. We'll see how this works out with that. Uh, I, the lipstick that I'm using today is from Lorella. Lorella Cosmetics. This really pretty pink one. It's called uh, Posh. Posh. Nice lipstick. And the eyelash glue that I used today was from Lorella as well. It's Everlasting Eyelash Glue. It's latex free and it dries on clear. And this is some really good eyelash glue and it has one of those skinny little brushes that I like so much for you know keeping I don't like the ones that have the squeezy tube you know because it puts too much glue on the eyelashes and it takes forever for it to dry and this right here you can just you know just brush it on and it's just a light amount and in just a matter of seconds that lash is ready to be applied so we're just gonna spray this down and we've got some Tarte Stay Spray here and we're gonna try to keep this look from traveling <laughs> we don't want to see it travel so anyway I cannot wait to see what Leslie does with the colors I chose for her her palettes looked very beautiful and warm tones and neutrals and just right up my alley what I really really like uh, this color combination right here that she chose for me, I probably never would have picked these colors out, 
myself because I w really wouldn't, you know, that mustard yellow and that greenish yellow along with those blues and greens. I just, I, in my mind, I, you know, until you swatch these, this palette right here sometimes doesn't make a lot of sense to a lot of people, but when you start uh, mixing colors and blending them together, like you can see I did here today, I mean, this is a really pretty um, bluish green. It leans more towards green, but you can definitely see the blues and then of course the yellows and I just love it. I just think it's gorgeous. It reminds me of a mermaid almost, you know, but anyway, I did add a little bit more eyebrow pencil to my look today, but anyway, I am very happy with this look. Very happy. So thank you, Leslie. You did a great job. I want to come back to this palette, y'all. I want to play with it some more before the fall season's over with. All those good yummy oranges. And you got all these purples. And that, you know, these this shiny, uh, shimmery red here. Oh my gosh. That color right there is awesome. So anyway. And this saffron color, let me just swatch it for you. So y'all can see this red. It's like an orangey red. Holy moly, look at that. What you could do with that red and those other shades would be amazing. So, very pigmented. And I think Ace Butte has this on sale right now for like $9.99, y'all. Crazy good sales going on right now. I just want to shop everywhere. But I'm trying to refrain myself, you know, and just buy what I need and what I've what I've been wanting that I haven't got in my collection already. It would be so easy for me to just go to their website and stock up on about four or five of these palettes to give away, but anyway, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> anyway, I love y'all today. Thank you for watching the Women Who Collab. Everyone's video will be listed down in the playlist. If you don't see it today, just come back and check, you know, tomorrow and the next day because sometimes it takes a day or two for the ladies to all, you know, get them all up because it's, it's just a really super casual collab. So anyway, no one's really pressed, you know, to hit a deadline. We try for Thursdays, you know, but sometimes some of the ladies miss and they post on Friday or Saturday whenever their schedule permits. All right, that's it for me today, you guys. Leslie's video will probably be posted today. She's really good about getting hers up on Thursdays. So make sure and, and check her out. All right, God bless you all today is my prayer. I will see you in the next video. Bye.